Hey guys, Crew Blind Way back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. And we are back with the finale of Fruits Basket. Pretty amazing. It's been a long journey. It's been a long, wonderful, sorrowful, gleeful, amazing journey. Yeah. And this is the end. Really amazingly complete. The last stop. I think it's going to be a time skip, personally. And we're going to see them a bit in the future. But there are still some people that we haven't, like seen their um good endings yet yeah so maybe we cover that or maybe we skip or maybe it's something entirely different i don't know maybe it's setting up the the spin-off series but we even got a happy ending for um Toru's mom last episode yeah which was devastating yeah we haven't um i feel like that's why i kind of postulate she meant by that before we haven't tied up rin yet I wonder yeah if we will. the mother mm -hmm. Ooh. maybe they could you know put her in the cat house and then burn it down <laughs> oh no <laughs> all right let's see how it ends i can't wait let's go lovely too lovely yeah i didn't even write anything down <laughs> uh so great <sighs> just such a great show just is nice it's i mean they, they did the they captured the bittersweet feeling of, you know, leaving and mixed it with the excitement of leaving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it captures life so well, I feel like, in relationships and so touches on so many things that are not touched on a lot, especially yeah. in anime. I mean, yeah, there was some pretty heavy topics um lots of abuse there was self hate self harm there was and strength suicidal feelings yeah and strength just being portrayed differently than yeah like you normally portray strength being I separated like. from your family yeah like, Toru's got to be up there with one of the best anime protagonists ever, right? Yeah. Maybe top ten? Yeah. Like, for what she was able to accomplish versus what she had to work with, <laughs> I feel like. I think we had this conversation one time before where it's basically like, uh, you what what's her win percentage? Like, other, other characters, they lose fights once in a while, but like, Toru, she's... I mean, she... There's no casualties. <laughs> <laughs> she like, I don't know if defeated is the right word, but she overcame a god. You know? Yeah. And just helped and healed all these people. Just being in contact with her was better for all of them. And for me as well. Mm -hmm. I feel like... Like, if you put her and Uncle Iroh in a room together, like, I don't know which one would help each other more. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, she's amazing. Uh, so, we saw... Um... Oh, I gotta go back. I wrote two pages of notes. <laughs> they, um... Toru picked up his beads. I wonder what that was for. Like... Is it just to remember, like, where he's come from, time's gone by? Or is it maybe we will need these someday? No, I don't know. I, I, I don't think so. Not like that. I wonder if it's just kind of a way of caring for him before and caring for him now and in the future. Like, all parts of you are important. I don't want to get rid of any of it. Yeah, I mean, that is what they said here, where 
like loving someone is loving not just their now, but their past as well as their future. Mm-hmm. So I can definitely see that. And, uh, and Toru, of all people, like, I don't think she would litter. <laughs> Especially not human remains. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably, there's probably a pretty big law against that. Probably. Yeah. We uh, caught up a little with Manabe. Him and Yuki are both college bound. Yep. Separate colleges, it seems, but college bound and i think um machi must be maki must be a year younger than yeah probably yeah Yuki. because she and her half brother are not the same age yeah she said that like i'm gonna catch up to you mm-hmm. so <sighs> i mean you know if we're gonna get one skip forward and see how it all ends up like toru is the one that you need but yeah. it would have been nice to see them too <laughs> yeah. Shigure is quitting novels. Well, he doesn't have to la- live in fantasy anymore. <laughs> I love anymore. that. Um, um, M- Misu is so excited. Like, the evil one has fallen. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was great. <laughs> that was such a funny line. <laughs> She's so funny. I heard that. She's made me laugh some of the most, but her, it's also like, should I be laughing at this? <laughs> She's going to kill herself. Uh, it's pretty great. Uh. Looked like Ritsu was giving all of um, his dresses to uh, Kagura. Mm-hmm. They were pretty nice, too. <laughs> they were. They might be getting together with Misu, maybe. Mm-hmm. He was at least being teased about it. Yeah. Uh, Rin and Hatsu. Rin and Hatsu. Hatsu Haru. Are together. Rin can't forgive Akito. Maybe never will. Akito, I think it was a good choice not to go. And have her presence there. And then like the farewell. Yeah. Gathering. That would have been difficult for Rin at the very least. If not for all of them. Mm-hmm. We never did find out what happened to Rin. What her fate turns out being. Send her off with the rest of the crazy servants. <laughs> Let them do their thing. Have no contact. Kazuma and Hana. We're together, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That dog. Yes. <laughs> She's graduated, but that dog. <laughs> like, he's older than Kurnano, right? Uh, he... <laughs> that dog. Because <laughs> Kurnano was already a little iffy with I Utani, mean, but. Hana's. Mahana can take care of herself. She seems quite mature. <laughs> Her waves are ancient. But and that's powerful. not what I expected at all. Like, have they even met before? Maybe that was kind of a throw off joke. Yes, they have, because she was like. I really oh, like your master. Remember, yes, she, they were teasing remember. Kyo about it so much. I remember. That that's funny. <sighs> that's uh. Hilarious. And then Yuki's, well, uh, Ma- Mayu and Hatori going to the beach, and then Yuki and Taru's talk was just so good. So sweet. So sweet. It's the kind of things that. Like, you can think about people, but you just never say, you know? Mm-hmm. It's hard to say those kind of things. Yeah, it's hard to find the right words. Some feelings are so intrinsic or deep or... Or just, like... Wrapped up. They don't, um... You just can't find the words to express them. Mm-hmm. Did a wonderful job of it. Mm-hmm. I liked, um, like, you know, you were always there, and I would have really lost it if you were there had started playing from Eco. <laughs> that was just what was playing in my head, and I was like, oh, oh, it makes me so sad. 
That would have been so perfect. I mean, this soundtrack's great too, but. Mm -hmm. Eco Man. I am a. <laughs> Putting the care their package. care packages together. <laughs> Made outfit. Made outfits. That's a high tier item. Very important. Along with instant ramen <laughs> and socks. <laughs> socks for the necessities. Off. Instant ramen for energy and made outfits for. You know what else? Whatever else. Whatever else. <laughs> and they grow up and. Have kids who have kids and continue to love each other and be happy for the rest of their days. Yeah. If only we can all be so lucky. <sighs> but just be to, more like Toru. Yeah. Everybody. Just be kind to others and the world will be kind to you. <laughs> well. <laughs> the world. <laughs> what? <laughs> That is nice. But really just a fantastic show. Like mm -hmm. from start to end, I'm really curious to see what it's like watching it again. Like knowing all this. <sighs> starting from the beginning, like... It, it might be sadder in the beginning. <laughs> everything might be sadder because it's like... Like not only are you experiencing it, but you're like reminiscing about it as well. It's like, you know, you're thinking about times gone by, which is sad. And then the moments themselves are sad, and it's just a compound, compounding of sadness. Yeah. But also of happiness and everything as well. So, really, I mean, it, it didn't need any more. Like, it ended perfectly. Mm -hmm. I feel like it was paced wonderfully. The dub was great all the way around. Soundtrack. Yeah. I mean, you know, there wasn't much need for much crazy animation, but I really like the art style. Uh-huh everything a lot of colors the light and such always i don't know i i feel like the light the light just always made it seem you could tell exactly like where you were and how the people were feeling and the light was always just visually one of the most beautiful things about it i think i might want to watch in the sub as well normally i liked watch like because this it's so rooted in so many things that are japanese mm -hmm. like, normally i like to watch those in sub so i will be curious to see how it is because it'll be tough to top these dub actors yeah because well at the very least you amazing. won't be taken out of it thinking oh like, i know that person from this other one i also wonder if i'll be able to notice toru's difference oh uh, yeah if you know? you'll be able to notice a lot more well, yeah, just like, will I be able to notice the change in speaking and like the, the way that she talks? Because it's not as obvious like when I watch um, Moroni Kenshin in sub. Oh, is there a character there that does like very formal Japanese and then... Well, Kenshin is like very, like talks like a farmer. Are you... Yeah. Uh, you've seen it. Yeah, a little but, bit. But but like when he's in battle mode, like he gets very serious. <laughs> well, everything gets serious. Like <laughs> there's everything changes. But but like it's always such an emotional moment when he's on that line between like light and dark. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, I I didn't feel as much in the sub, and part of it as well is I think he's voices a woman in the sub, so it just doesn't seem to fit quite as well as it does in the dub. But um, I really felt this season, especially like Taru's growth, and a lot of that was from the voice acting, mm -hmm. which I really appreciated. Yeah, I every part I like. I can't think of any like I'm no professional, but like I can't think of anything I would have changed. Yuki too. Like there were a few. Like he's always here but then this season there were a few times where like you know he would spike yeah it was always nice seeing him with manabe and manabe getting a rise out of him and such <laughs> it's like oh, finally it's like you're being more normal this is okay this is good it's wonderful to see and i wonder 
like I haven't seen the sub. I wonder in the sub if he's a little more animated, and because like sub actors tend to be a little more animated or a lot more animated than the English ones. But I wonder if the difference would be quite as stark. I'd be curious to see. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but yeah, I mean, we watched it back in the day, and that really only covered season one. And even then, it was Didn't one of cover. my favorite things yeah. like that I saw. And this is so much better than that was. Like, there's no reason to ever go back and watch the other one, I don't think. No, I don't think so. Uh, I, I like the opening and maybe the closing of that better than some of the opening closings in this, but not all of the opening closings. I really like the opening of the third season in this one, especially. You mean the, the kind of half photo, photo reel, mm-hmm. half the other one? Particularly the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one was a good song. Anything else? I mean, I just want to talk about Fruits Basket forever. Like, I want to see more of this kind of thing in other anime. Like, I just, I really like the way it handles not mental disorders, but like trauma. Yeah. And the way that it takes it very seriously, but also is very funny. And like, it just strikes a wonderful balance Mm -hmm. in how it's able to handle everything. So... It's able to expose you without traumatizing you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. There's like some moments I I think back on, like I'll always tear up a little bit. If you could find a show that can deal with like mental illness and such the way this one deals with trauma, that'd be amazing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think there's some mental illness in this as well, like because of the trauma. Yeah. I mean, um, M- Maki... Seems freaking inflicted by the parents. Well, like, Maki especially was suffering from depression, at the very least. Uh-huh. And, I mean, uh, Reen has... I uh, wouldn't want to diagnose it, but there's certainly something um, from her trauma that I think is deeply still affecting her. Mm-hmm. And all of them, too. Uh, it's good to show that with Reen, because it's not something that's ever really going to disappear or go away. Like, they can grow along with it, kind of like a tree growing with a bicycle, right? Like, the tree can be healthy and happy and grow, but the bicycle is always still there. Yeah, it's but part of it. the bicycle doesn't change size, and after a while, the tree is much, much larger. It's true. Great stuff. Love. Love me some Fruits Basket. Yeah. See, just everybody watch it. Yeah. Watch it. Anything else? No, I don't think so. All right. I kind of don't want to end it because that means it's the end of Fruits Basket, but I must. Thanks for uh, enjoying it with us, and we'll see you for whatever's next. Thank you, guys. Fruits Basket was amazing, and I hope that you enjoyed it as well. Make sure to subscribe so that you can check out all the reactions that we do here. Also, make sure you pay, check out patreon.com slash blindwave where you can vote on things like movie reactions as well as show reactions too. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.